Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you, Heidi? I'm fine, teacher. Good. I'm good. Not bad. Um, yeah. Hey, hello, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? So far, so good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. It was an excellent day. Oh, really? Why? Ah, because it is a little Friday. <laughs> okay okay fair enough fair enough yeah yeah okay well actually i'm on friday too oh <laughs> uh, yeah yeah that's yeah. right you are on friday <laughs> yes <Ooh. Yay>. that's <laughs> funny <laughs> yeah so you you work on on saturday i do work on saturdays actually i work saturday and sunday monday is my day off monday is your day off Mm -hmm. oh, Monday cool. is my day yeah. yeah 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 so but yeah I work I, I work Monday I work Tuesday to Sunday okay you work six days in a week six days a week yeah yeah okay. exactly in, in theory in theory I actually huh? work in theory I work from Monday to to Sunday uh, Sunday, but because Monday, yeah because like but we're uh, or on we're but we're on time zone exactly because of the time uh -huh. zone i end up having all of monday free yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's it's weird but it, but yeah it works out that way because um <laughs> because my my last like my last class that i have is um on sunday um at like in El Salvador Sunday at um at 12 I finish it Sunday 12 but Sunday here 12. yeah it's Sunday at 12 but here it's Sunday not at night it's at 9 p.m so that means that um the next day I have completely free yeah that's right yeah yeah cool. so yeah, it's weird, but that's how it works and, out. And you teach uh, from another country? Yeah, yeah. You didn't know? No. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm in another country. No, no, no. I I know that you are in in another country, uh -huh. but I don't know if you teach only from El Salvador or do you teach. Oh, from in other countries. Oh, in other countries. Um, actually, uh, I do have, um, I have some courses, in, mm -hmm. but I'm teaching Spanish in those courses. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, it, it's um. So I teach mostly like, uh, people from Europe. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's like last nice. last time I had um I had a guy from uh, from Hungary. Mm -hmm. And uh and a girl and um two girls from uh from where was it? From Romania. Oh cool. But with those uh, person you speak English, right? No. 
No? No, because I teach oh, them you speak Spanish. Other, other... No, because okay. I speak but... Spanish. Like, I teach them Spanish, so I speak only Spanish with them. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's crazy, huh? Okay, but I know that your native language is English. English, yeah. But, yeah, but you speak Spanish so fluently, so, mm -hmm. like, you live here for a lot of time. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've, I've, um, yeah, the thing is that Spanish, I grew up listening to Spanish in my home, uh -huh. so, when I got to El Salvador, I knew Spanish, but um, I was influent. I was influent. Yeah. I, so, so now, like uh, after eighteen the years, other kind of fashion. Yeah, like, yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> no, I never got that accent actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. No, no, never. No, uh, but I, I guess because I only lived in in in, in San Salvador, maybe if I oh, yeah, lived right. somewhere else, you know. No, yeah. and also for me that accent is so weird because I never been in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why. Yeah, yeah. I actually never. You know, weird. It's weird. I never went to San Miguel. Uh -huh. I can't believe it. I, I just I just realized right now I never went to San Miguel. I um I've always I whenever I traveled, I usually traveled towards the west. Uh -huh, west and sometimes the north, but never to the east of the country. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why. I always wanted to see and 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 experience a meal and and the mm -hmm. heat and it's a meal. Uh, that's disgusting, <laughs> I guess. Really? Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I I just want I like to experience different things, even though I may not like them, but I just like to experience them. But um, yeah, I never I never got that chance. Maybe one day. I I mean I don't I don't plan to. Yeah to never go back to El Salvador, so, mm -hmm. yeah, who knows, okay. yeah, who knows, yeah, who knows, <laughs> yeah, you never know, there's so many possibilities in life, yeah, yeah, hello, David, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, good, good, are you, are you definitely much better? Yes. This week, yeah, yes, yeah, no, it. no more problems. Yeah, so so, but much better. Mm, okay, okay, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, okay, you, yeah. Hello, Roxana. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How how did you manage yesterday with your work? Well, to be honest with you, I still working. <gasps> really? Yeah, I finished yesterday. I finished uh, around one a.m. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. Wow! Uh, but is it is it just like this week that's, um, or is it normally like this? For you? No, I think that it's this week because uh, right now we having a closing for different companies. Mm -hmm. So we need to uh, do some uh, adjustments mm -hmm. and something like that. That's why this week is a little complex. Maybe the next will be easy. Or mm -hmm. I hope so. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, because. That's that's crazy working until one in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Hello, Juan Miguel, Wendy, Francisco Eduardo, Jose Marcos. I can't see you. Hi, guys. good evening. Good evening, Juan Miguel. How are you? I'm doing good. Also. And the most important is that I'm here. At your class. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for connecting. Um, 
is is everything all right or um yes. everything all right just yesterday that i have some uh some situations uh, uh at my work that mm -hmm. i was solving with kind of home office yeah mm -hmm. and the things were like uh, uh, in a kind of urgency for mm -hmm. the people so i had to to solve the situation but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 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 good. In general, I'm good. Okay, I'm fine. good, good. I'm I, I hope. Um, I hope you, you have a a a good weekend. The, the, you know, not 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 too stressful, so that you can relax a bit. <laughs> yeah, I need it. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. Hello, Jose Marcos. How are you? Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Um, are, you, are you sure you sound you sound very very tired? Uh no no. No. no? Oh, okay. No, okay. I'm good. I'm good, just good. Waiting for the Friday. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Got it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm also waiting for the the call uh, for the company to uh, replace my my glasses by yeah, oh. my friend and uh, they didn't call me today but I'm still waiting for that okay call. So let's see what if, if, if they don't um if they don't help you out um i i know someone that can help you out uh and you know maybe maybe you you won't have to spend too too much because i know that that becomes quite expensive yeah, yeah. um um currently i am using the old ones that i have mm. okay okay yeah that's that it have it has another graduation, but so I'm kind of busy sometimes. A, a, another prescription, yeah, yes. uh, yeah, yeah. You got to be careful with that as well because you know if it's if if you're getting too dizzy, you know you that that may be a problem as well. Yeah, yeah. So I hope uh I just use them like for. Two or three days, I don't know, or a week. Yeah. Okay. I hope. I hope. Um. I hope it gets better. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Hello, Wendy. I can't seem to see you. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Good. Good. I'm glad to know that. Um. How was your day today? Um, very busy. I'm very um tighter right now. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, teacher. I'm sorry but to hear that. I um I, right now I stay in my house and all is good. <laughs> mm, okay, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, hello, Harvin. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Yes, I am here. Okay. Okay. Um, is it possible to turn on the camera? Because I can't see you. Okay, right now oh, I am there. on my computer because oh, okay. I am trying to turn off my computer, but doesn't want to work today. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, at least, um, uh, at least you have um your your second. Your your second possibility, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like you have a, a an option. That's 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 important. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Uh, don't worry if you if you um uh if you get your computer working, you can always come come in. Right. But at least, yeah. But at least you have the 
you have a, an option of, of having your cell phone and that's okay. Okay, um, and Francisco Eduardo, are you there? Francisco Eduardo, are you there? Hmm. Okay. Hi. Oh, okay. There he is. Okay. Okay. Welcome. How are you? How are you, Francisco? Just by the show. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> okay. Good. Good. I'm hearing of that a lot. I'm tired, but but good. You know, that's that's normal. It's Thursday, so it's normal. It's normal you're feeling that way. Thanks for connecting right. nonetheless. Thank you. Dishman. Okay. Hello, Jose Osmin. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, very good. Very good. Oh, good, good, good. All right, excellent. How was your day? Uh it was so far so good. So today was my day off. It was relaxed day. Oh, nice. Okay, good, good, good. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay, and Iliana, hello, Iliana. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, on my way home now. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. I'm glad you're, you're, you're almost getting home. Okay, and thank you for connecting, even though you are busy, but thank you. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take attendance. Uh, Ana Claudia is not here. Hmm, that's weird. David? Present teacher. All right, wonderful. Welcome. Y Dora? Hmm, Dora is also not here. Dora, no, right? Okay, that's for it too. Fernando Ernesto. Fernando Ernesto, tampoco. Okay, uh, Fernando Marvin. Fernando Marvin. Ninguno de Fernando están, okay. Francisco? 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 Okay, wonderful. There you are. Okay. Heidi? Present teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Iliana? Teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Uh, Harvey. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Jose Marcos. Present. Okay, wonderful. Uh, welcome, Jose Osmin. Present. Excellent, wonderful. Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Juan Miguel. Present teacher. Excellent. Eh, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roxana Ivet. Okay, wonderful. Um, William. William is not here, huh? Okay. Suleyma Ivonne. All right. Wendy? Present. Excellent. Welcome. And Wilfredo Guardado. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you guys for connecting. Just make sure that if um, we can turn on the camera, have the camera on. Okay. And um, 
We are going to start with uh, the presentations from yesterday. Um, we had three groups still to present. Um, so we're gonna start with that. Just let me see who's the next group. Okay. Just a reminder, guys, that um, for this coming week, uh, you are going to have to present all of Unit 3. So um, my suggestion is that this weekend you um, start working, uh, you know, try to advance as much as you can, at least on Unit 3 and start doing the final exam too. Like try to do it at the same time so that you guys don't um, eh, don't end up, um, you know, rushing in that last little bit. Okay, so um, just, you know, just um, a suggestion that this weekend, if you, if it's possible for you to, um, to to work in the platform okay all right uh, any do you guys have you guys had any problems with the platform uh, no? I, I told you about uh, yes 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 i will um i'll be honest i haven't uh i haven't been able to compare yet with the the correct answer, but I'll do that during the class, okay? During this class, I'll give you an answer, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so um, from what I can see, the next group that is supposed to be presenting is Francisco Eduardo, Harvin, and Roxana. Okay. Francisco Eduardo, are you there? Okay, wonderful. All right. Okay, uh, just give me a moment. I haven't, okay, now you can share a screen. Okay. Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, now we are uh, going to talk about some important uh, IoT points that uh, it is applied in the Francisco industry. Uh, now, I will talk about the definition. You know that um, IoT, uh, the, central, the main idea of the IoT is simplify your life because uh, between uh, some devices you can share information. The definition of Internet of Things means the, that needs different uh, things like objects, sensors, software, and other techno technology to get connection and uh, changing that data with other devices through internet. So it's important when uh, we are talking about the present and the future that uh, we need to apply or we need to um, invest in more about that because uh, now is um is a is a needed is a needed is a needed in our life. So what uh, did you say? Necessidad. Oh, uh, a need. A need. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a need in our life in general. In general, when we are talking about a uh, personal things or uh, about work or joining some uh, different activities, we need to um, implement or. Uh, introducing that type of uh, things in our life. 
Now, Francisco will talk about the impact. Hey, good night, everybody. Uh, in this time, uh, I'm talking about uh, from the impact of IoT technology in, in my workplace. Uh, in the case in my, in my company, uh, practically uh, all process uh, running in, in IoT, in IoT technology, in IoT devices, because uh, the company uh, uh, make an inspection uh, through uh, X-ray to the uh, good that this good uh, true in the in the border and for any process that uh, we we make the IoT technology is included and next um, uh, I talking uh, about uh, uh, the application that we use uh, that uh, running with IoT technology for example, um, we have uh, many workstations. I said our our computer that uh, uh, are configured with a special software, and that this uh, computer uh, are connected with a sensor with other equipment that uh, transfer uh, data. For for make the the inspection, uh, we we have a security camera that uh, we use in in every part of the process. And next, uh, Sana, uh, say the next part. Thank you. You say impact, right? Uh, the, the two impact in application. Jarvin, uh, Jarvin, Jarvin. Okay, I'm going to continue to explain about the prediction using to IoT. For example, we put the operation to be easier. For example, when you use the IoT and, and some devices, you may easier to work. Uh, for example, some years ago, when you take uh, hours to do something right now using the technology you only spend five or two minutes do it something and transmit data will be faster and in some email you can share every the information that you want to share or the information that you can <clears throat> share with some customer also with some suppliers and another point is the threats in the reach on iot for example, if you depend, all you were depend in IoT, here in El Salvador, the connection is not too good. For example, maybe have some file, you lost a lot of time to, to try to do your job without IoT. And the security threat is like Fernando says yesterday, you is too common to receive a lot of spam email, try to store your personal information, and everything your count, bad count, and a security threat is as I I is like I told you before, is everyone try to to store your information because when you use the technology, you have to to add your personal information in some devices or in your email or in your and your and your oh how do you say. And you're not, and you're, uh, I don't remember the word, but you have to personal information there and someone can install and can do everything using your name, for example. And that's all teacher. Oh, sorry. And, sorry. Oh, sorry. In conclusion, uh, we use IoT to communicate more than ever. And it comes an integral part of, of life and workplace and different activities. So uh, we share some um, specific devices that 
maybe we need to to use in our work. For example, take tablet, uh, audio assistant, wireless printer, smart TV, or a smart um, monitor, uh, wireless, and phone. And that. Uh, Okay, bravo, very good. Excellent, okay. Very good, guys. Um, okay, so now let's uh, move on to the next group. Let me see who's the next group. Next group is Ana Claudia, Fernando, Marvin, and William. Um, Ana Claudia is not here. Um, Fernando Eduardo, are you there? Fernando Eduardo? William, tampoco. Hmm, okay. So I guess that group won't be able to pass then. Okay, so then the next group is Dora, Iliana, and Juan Miguel. Uh, Juan Miguel and uh, Iliana. Dora's not here, so. You guys are gonna have to pass without her. Okay, there you go. Hi guys, good evening to everyone. Good evening. So um the the topic was the internet of things, but it was related. Just just let me one sec, please. Okay, thank you. The topic was about the Internet of Things. Um, in the group, uh, is Dora, Ileana, and myself. So, uh, what is IoT in our words? Yeah, IoT, uh, IoT sorry, IoT uh, is or could be a, 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 a series of devices and applications. Yeah, but they, all of them have the purpose to connect a, and exchange data from one device to another over the internet. Yeah. Uh, how does the IoT impact the industry I work for? Um, we are, in three different uh, areas, okay? Uh, Dora is in accountant, uh, account accountability. Uh, Ileana, if I'm not mistaken, is- Accounting. Accounting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ileana is in telecommunications, I think, and myself in the maritime and port industry, yeah? So um, we were talking about that the IoT improves the communication between, in general, between the departments or, so, or the different areas in, in the same company. And uh, this like um, facilitates, yeah, the communication between uh, the company and clients also. Um, and if we go further, uh, every kind of company 
that is or that have uh, this situation, the IoT uh, um, for the everyday activities, it, they can now, now if we can say like this, they, they can now, what are the new services or solutions they could develop, they, they develop or develop in order to uh, uh, facilitate the, the, the life. And uh, Ileana was talking about uh, about this kind of technologies like 5G uh, that uh, that that is helpful for for clients. Maybe not in our country, yeah, but there are some countries like United States where this kind of technology is uh, is fully functionally, yeah, and the communication is faster. Uh, the inter the the data the data interchange is. Uh, is easier, yeah, uh, because of the speed uh, of the internet, the information is uh, sharing faster. Uh -huh. uh, and we have, with all of, all of these things, uh, we have reduction in reduction of time of time in in all the processes over the companies yeah and also uh, we have less costs uh, or cost reductions and could be also that the process logistic processes are easier because you are using softwares devices and equipment that helps or that, uh, yeah, that helps in all the, in all the supply chain, su supply chain, yeah. Uh, and the, the example that I, that I mention always is related with the vessels and the load. Yeah, la carga que ellos transportan, the load that they transport from one country to another or, or from one port to another. And these kind of processes, they are quickly, or no, no, are quicker and easier to do. If we don't have, uh, if we don't have IoT situations, or equipment or devices, the communication and the process of the information could be um, harder to do and slower, yeah? Um, I don't know if Ileana is here. Yes, I'm here. Okay, so I don't know if you want to continue. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Okay, thank so, you. Okay. So the next part is how does the IoT uh, is present in the tasks I do at my workplace? Uh, we share experience and our opinions, and we we try to to put like three three examples. First, the first example is based on the Juan Miguel. Um, uh, job uh, is to examine boats in order to know if the boat is able to float using devices and software to upload the information to the system. This um, helps a lot uh, in the process in order to make the process easier and faster. Uh, in the, in in my case, for example, we use a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, the, for, for example, we call a lot, a lot of meetings in, in my, or in my position, I have to, 
to to like to plan or to send um uh, meetings or or call meetings. So schedule schedule meetings. Thank you. And we use Teams, Zoom, uh, WebEx sometimes uh, to to yeah to to schedule meetings. And in case of Dora, uh, she she tell us that uh, in her case the part of the reports the IOTs are very 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 helpful because uh, same as Juan Miguel the process is faster and easier and the last part that are the predictions and concerns in predictions we have uh, improving collaboration. For example, home office will be 100% normal, not just hybrid. It's like I'm working home office, you work in home office, like a normal thing. Uh, the second one, opportunities for finding additional revenue streams. Uh, businesses can leverage IoT solutions to identify patterns and new growth opportunities. Um, more devices could be acquired for the use in IoT and more services could be created to satisfy the, need, the needs of the customers. And number three, creating a smart offices, uh, improve day-to-day -day operations at workplace. And then we have the concerns. Um, the first one is poor data protection. Uh, IoT devices create a bridge between a secure network and insecure devices. So a strong authentication measures and digital certificates can help. Devices with strong encryption can also offer greater security. And number two, more security protocols have to increase. And number three, uh, IoT skill gaps. This is another issue with IoT devices is that many users don't fully understand them. So robust training can help employees avoid the security and privacy issues in IoT devices. So that's all teacher, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, bravo. Excellent, thank you guys. Um, just want to make sure that um okay so the last it's making sure that i'm not missing it, that there's still nobody from the other group um let me see who was in the other group anna claudia is still not here right and Fernando Marvin. I'm here. Oh, okay, wonderful. And William? No, nobody, okay. All right, uh, Fernando Marvin, uh, is it possible, like, do you have the um, PowerPoint for you to present? Can you present from your group or? Uh, yes, teacher. By the way, I have the, the presentation. <laughs> oh, okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Perfect. So, but the the skin is for us, for all, for all of us. But I will try. Okay. I know. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, you're you don't have the rest of your group. But what? Do your best job. Okay. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Let me see. How we share. My screen. Mm -hmm. And can you see my my screen? We can, yes. Okay. So this is bar. Okay. So we have we have uh, we were at a discussion about the, the IoT and we have a meaning uh, with own word. So the what is IoT, Internet of Things, and means that all the access can be connected through a network. So it's um, a lot of devices. And how does the IoT is presenting the task I do at my workplace? So this part is it was for William, but 
it's applied for all of us because uh, all the rules work with technology with devices connected uh, through internet because I work on IT department and Claudia works in by home off from 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 home. And William, ah, I remember that he used to. So in our workplace, all devices like computer, printer, cell phone, security cans, and security cans, etc., are connected. Uh, are connected through through a a network and are connected each other in some cases. So we use uh, the IoT devices for our uh, for our tasks in a daily basis. So how does the IoT impact the industry I work for? Uh, this part this part it was for me. So in my in my case with the IoT devices, I save time, save money, because I work from home sometimes, and I save money because I don't waste money uh, commute, and I eat in my house. No, I ate in my house. So all all kind of design uh, permit me uh, save money and save time because today I. I go into my office, so <laughs> I connected late at class because I came late to home. So the traffic is a giant, you know. So, so using using devices, I save time. And for other companies, um, well, include my company, uh, IoT devices uh, permit increased productivity and efficiency, uh, better management. In other activity that that convert a company in a better uh, organization, and so we have some predictions and some concerns about the IoT. For example, uh, we think that IoT permit in the future new profession because we get, we will get new devices, so we will need. Uh, person specialists in these devices in this area. Also, uh, also we have new devices and these devices uh, would permit improvement in all industries. But we have some concerns. For example, security threats, like we were discussing some class ago, uh, the cost of the devices because uh, the technology is it's changed throughout, throughout the time. So the new devices are more expensive than the previous. And obviously pollution. With, with more devices, we have more pollution and digital trash. Uh, digital trash, it's mean for us, for example, when when the people, um, desecha, teacher, to dispositivos, Throw away. Throw away. Mm -hmm. Okay, when people throw away their devices, uh, they they don't do it in a in a way form. For example, the batteries with the old toxic that contain. So that's it. That's all. All right. Thank you very much, Fernando. You did a wonderful job. I know that that was. Uh, you know, um, that was a lot of work because it was three people's works, but you did it only one. So thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, thank you. Um, just a reminder, guys, can you make sure that your cameras are on? Because I still see some people that keep uh, their cameras keep on turning off. And remember that whenever you see like another page, um, in if you're on your cell phone, you see another page, then it turns off automatically. So you have to go, go back and turn it back on. Okay, guys. Um, so just a few words that um, we can practice. 
First one is configured. Okay, configured. Can you repeat that? Configured. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. The other one is reduction. You guys remember the production? The same idea, right? Reduction. Reduction. Yeah, not reduction. Reduction, reduction no reduction. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And the verb is to examine. To examine. Okay. To examine. To examine. Yeah. And the word is schedule. We can use it as a noun or a verb, but we pronounce it schedule in American English. And in British English, it's schedule. Schedule. Okay, so you can either one is 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 okay. It's appropriate. And this one is this one is previous. Previous. Okay. All right. Any questions about that? No, teacher, no questions. No? Okay, wonderful. All right, so in that case, we are going to um, continue here. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. You see it? Yes. Okay, wonderful. All right, so this is the advanced number four. It's say 17. And the date is uh, Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Your facility is Jessica Guerrero. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be talking about the, um, the expression such a. Okay. So such a is an expression that we use um, to this uh, basically is to add emphasis, okay? All right, it's a, so such as is used to add emphasis. And it's always used with a noun or a noun phrase, okay? We've already talked about what a noun phrase is, right? So basically it's a long noun. A noun phrase is a long noun. It's a more specific way of talking about a noun. Okay, so instead of saying um, uh, the cell phone, uh, you can say the cell phone that I wanted, right? So the cell phone that I wanted, you're being more specific, right? Okay. Um, and also, uh, if we're talking about a noun, uh, the noun may be preceded by an, an adjective, sorry. Okay. Um, so, preceded by an adjective. All right. Um, so, examples of this is, in 2016, the number of data breaches in the United States reached 1,093 cases. And we say such a number. Okay, so we have such a. And here we have the noun number. Such a number represents a 40% increase in attacks in comparison to 2015. So we could easily replace such a with words like, um, for example, this number, 
So this number represents a 40% increase in the tax in comparison to 2015. And that would be okay. But because we want to give an emphasis, we use the word such a. That's just giving an emphasis so that we're like, wow, like this, this big number. Yeah, that's that's basically what it does. That's all it does. Okay. So it's nothing really, it's nothing complicated. It just makes it a little more dramatic, let's say. So in number two, 66% of security and IT professionals recently admitted in a survey they were not com confident the organization could get over uh, from a cyber attack. Such a statement should be a warning for managers to invest more budget on cy cyber security. So again, here we have such a, and the noun is statement. Okay. So again, we could easily replace this with this statement, but we use such a to make it more of an emphasis, right? To make a little more dramatic. Okay. Um, number three, Yahoo was forced to reduce its sale prices to Verizon after such a powerful attack as the one in 2014. Okay, so we have here such a, once again. And then we have a noun clause. This one is a noun clause. Sorry, noun, sorry. A noun phrase, sorry. A noun phrase. Okay, because it's powerful attack. For being a little bit more specific. It's not, it's not just an attack. It's a powerful attack. So that makes it a noun phrase. Okay. So, uh, now, is this clear so far? Pretty simple. Yeah. Nothing too complicated, right? Okay. Now, notice that such a, uh, we use in the word a. Uh. A uh is means that something is singular, right? But what happens if we're talking about a non-count noun. Well, we know that non-count nouns are not possible to count, right? So we can't say ah when there's a non-count. So instead of that, what we do is we eliminate the word ah. Okay, we simply take it away like that, okay? So instead of saying such ah, we would just say such and the noun. The, or the noun phrase. Okay, so instead of the noun, just as such, and then plus the noun or the noun phrase. Okay, example of this would be um, as more and more business infrastructures interconnects, it is estimated that such interconnectivity will rate will rise will uh, rise the cost of a cyber attack to 150 million dollars by 2020 so here we have the noun interconnectivity and interconnectivity is uncountable it's not possible to count therefore we can't use a so we just say such interconnectivity the same thing happens with number five. Online services have risen such popularity with customers and businesses that hacking is easier than ever thanks to the proliferation of target targets. So here we have the we have such, but because we have the noun popularity and popularity is not possible to count we eliminate the word such sorry we eliminate the word um ah in the word in such a ah.
Okay. Is that pretty clear, guys? Pretty simple? Only for emphasis. Yeah, this is for an emphasis. Yeah, just for an emphasis. Finally, something easy. Yeah, exactly. No, but I, I think I think most of these are easy. It's just a, it's just the way that you see them. Um, yeah, it should. It's not. Too, it's not too difficult. Do you guys have any questions about this? Really? No questions? In Spanish, such as, it's like, um, it's como decir, tal como. No tal como. It's simply saying tal. Tal número, ta -ra -ra -ra. Okay. tal afirmación, ta -ra -ra -ra. Mm -hmm. tal ataque tan poderoso. Oh. Eh, una um, tal ataque poderoso da, 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 right? so just tal okay anything else any other questions that you guys have no okay so since it seems to be clear, let's see the exercises together. Or not together, but oh, no, you'll see what I mean. It says, write sentences related to cyber attacks and cybersecurity. Use such a or such un. Also, un is a possibility if the noun or the noun uh, phrase starts with a vowel sound. Okay, so use um, such a uh, or such an to emphasize nouns. Use a suggestive vocabulary from the box in your sentences. Read your sentences to a partner. Okay, so right now we have three uh, nouns or noun phrases. We have weak link, malicious activity, theft, ground somewhere, adversary, security chain. So I want you to create a sentence of your own, an original sentence, using the word such and the, the nouns that we have here, okay? Or the noun phrases, right? So such, let's say, such, Um, actually, I'm going to say such a or such an. I'm going to put it in parentheses because remember what we talked about, that it is possible to um, to use just the word such if it's the noun is, is un, un, uncountable. Okay. All right, so I'll give you a few minutes to do this on your own. And then we're going to be comparing. You guys can ask me questions while we're doing this.
cyber or, or cyber teacher. Cyber. Right. So, sorry? Cyber. Cyber. Mm -hmm. Yes, can I ask any questions? Deaf teacher is is the bird. Deaf. Deaf. It's not. Yeah. It, it, sorry, not. it's um a noun. Steel. Um, is like, Steel is the bird. Steel, but in a thief. Thief is the noun, but as a person. Okay, deaf so, is the, the the general term. Theft is um, the action, the, the the activity. Better said. Okay. But 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 it's not the verb. The verb is steal. To steal, yeah. To, okay, so the verb is to steal. I read in the chat. Okay, to steal. Um, then we have the noun is um, theft. The theft. And then we have um, a thief. It's the noun of the person. Okay. okay, there you go. Okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome.
You can ask me any questions, guys. Are we almost finished, guys, or do you need more time? More time, please. I need more time, please, teacher. More time? Okay, no problem. Uh, you need to write the first one, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem at all. So maybe if I can help you guys by telling you that this one is countable. You just put the word, the letter C. So this one's countable. This is also countable. This is non-countable. A... Um, let me just check that this one I'm not, I'm not sure about this one.
Yes, I'm comfortable. Adversary is comfortable. And security chain, comfortable. Teacher, such mm -hmm. a or an is, is different from such as, right? Yeah. Such as is given an example. This one is giving an emphasis. Okay. Okay, how are you guys doing? Are we almost ready? We are trying, but it's not easy to make the, the relationship between the sentence and the third chat. Okay. That okay. is the that is the, the, challenge. the part that have us to sing. <laughs> okay, no problem.
Anything I can help you with, guys? Like, let me know, please. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Death is a noun. So it refers, it's death? referred to, yeah, death, it's referred to the success. Death to this one? Death is referred to the success of still. Are are you talking about death? This now? Yeah. Theft. Death. No, se se theft. Theft. With yes. C. Theft. Theft. So, 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 so. Uh, just just think of it like um um like in Spanish when you say things like zorro. Zorrillo, eh, zapato, right? So theft. Death. Um, theft. 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 Yes, perfect. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Um, theft. Um, is the action of stealing something. Okay. Okay. So okay. we can we, say, for example, can, mm -hmm. we can use that word for refer to a success for example a death in a bank there was a theft at the bank yeah and, ah, okay mm -hmm. okay yeah mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome but let's just don't talk about it mm -hmm. let's just don't talk about that <laughs> about that <laughs> about that at banks <laughs> and banks yes yeah, no, no, no. You're, you're at the Cuscatlan, right, Heidi? Yes, teacher. Uh-huh, okay.
All right, are we ready to check with our partner to compare your ideas? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Anybody need more time? Okay, I'm going to get you guys to um, compare your answers with a classmate. So I'm going to stop sharing and we're gonna be going to breakout rooms. I just wanna make sure that I have everybody here. So, uh, Jose Wilfred, are you there? So, Wilfred, are you there? No? Okay. All right. I just want to make sure. Um, it seems. Maybe. Indiana. In. Edwin, are you there? Edwin? You there, Edwin? Edwin, are you there? No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's a Fernando Marvin, are you there? Okay, there it is. Okay, wonderful. Wendy, are you there? Wendy? Mm, okay. Um, Oh, uh, Jose Wilfredo is there, right? Okay, let me see. Yes. Jose. Eh, is there. Fernando Ernesto. It's Fernando Ernesto, are you there? Okay, perfect. Um. Roxana, Roxana is there. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, I think I have everybody. Okay, so, um, all right, so I'm going to send you right now to the groups and uh, you can compare your answers, okay? All right, so I'm opening the groups right now.
Wow. Which one was the first? I forgot. Weak link. Weak link. Okay, I have um, the security is such a weak link in the supply chain. Okay. I don't know if 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 may. I will. Uh, the new project is not making any effort. It's such a weak link in the chain of progress of the activity. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Second one is malicious activity. Malicious activity. I have around. I never seen such malicious activity since Melissa virus in 1999. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I wrote that the said that such a malicious activity couldn't go unpunished. Nice. The third was theft, right? Uh -huh. uh, I have. I, um, I think that the government made such such theft because they didn't publish the financial annual reports again. <laughs> uh -huh. I agree with you. <laughs> when Jarvin is, is here? Mm, I think he's not. Okay. And I will take a baby away from her mother. I can hear you well, Heidi. I I wrote taking a baby away from her mother arms is such a horrible thing. <laughs> mm. Yep. Um Find somewhere. Next, where is the next word? Was ransomware. Ransom, ransom word. I have the email phishing of the company was such ransomware attack that they had to close operations for a whole month. My God, Trojan virus causes such ransomware attack to any computer. The other one is with adversary, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The oldest participant was such an, an was such an adversary for me. But that automation is such an adversary for the elderly ones. We we have to to write the sentences always related to the IoT. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because my okay. example, my example with with adversary, it's like a completely <laughs> different thing from my OTs, but okay. And my sentence are the next. So for the first one is that access to the weak link uh, is such dangerous as is that is such no is such uh share your uh, password in um, social media posted Something like that. And um, the other one, malicious activity. Okay, malicious activity is such to be malicious activity, such a, such a, a such a what, such a, Such um, uh, I have a question, teacher. Uh, just to be sure, uh, such a is like tan, right? Uh, tal. 
Tal. Tal. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, malicious activity. Such a such a access. Such a access to the I guess that is the dark way. That dark way. I don't know if you heard something like that. Dark way. Dark web. But something like that. Um the next one theft. Theft could be through the another word. Through the another word. Uh, there are some there are some dangerous uh there are some dangerous what so the another word there are some dangerous death such a death credit card number. So the next ra ransom word, that's the way uh, to pronounce, right? Ransom word. Okay, so- Ransomware. Uh, ransomware, okay. So ransomware, that's me. Do we always have to look for unsexy behaviors in our network, such as malicious activity? Um, <laughs> hackers and white hackers are completely opposite. It's like they were such an adversary. <laughs> um, for security purpose, to access to critical information, a high level of passwords needed to touch some security change. I, I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. But I have, I have this. So the first it was um malicious activity, right? Then identity theft, then a uh, ransomware, no, weak link, weak link, weak link. Then ransomware, then a uh, adversary, then security chain. So I have that. Okay. Are you guys finished? Well, yeah, we're finished with you. Okay, perfect. Are you okay. guys finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah, perfect. All right. All right. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, all right, guys. Um, any questions about what about the vocabulary 
or about the exercise in itself. Not by now, teacher. No? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay. All right, in that case, we are going to check. Are we going to continue here? Okay, so we are going to now discuss these questions. Have you ever heard about the term cyber attack? Can you describe the cyber attacks you have heard of? Have you received malicious ma uh, mail or malicious atta attachments in your mail? Is there a recorded case of cybercrime in El Salvador? Were the hackers found? What are some consequences of a cyber attack for business uh, finance businesses and financial company? Do we understand these questions? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Any problems? Any questions? Nope. No okay. questions. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you back to the to the same group that you had um, before, and you're going to um, you're going to be discussing these questions. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, Ooh. good. Perfect. All right, um, so I'll send you back. Um, okay, here we go. Send you back. Teacher, I don't have the buy invite, so I don't see any group here. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold I on, give me a moment. Okay. Okay, here we go. Send you to one group. heard about the, the 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 concept but i don't know about it on a, for a specific case for example i know what is a cyber attack but i don't know on a specific case you heard about about an, an a cyber attack i heard about some cyber attacks that, for example, when when virus comes into your computer and you lost every single information. Not on a, on a specific person, but I heard about oh, okay. something like that. And here says, have you received malicious mail or a malicious attachment in your mail? Yeah, it happened to once, once or twice. That. Uh, in my email, I received an email that was supposed of, of the of the bank account, my my bank. Oh, really? And but the mail address was kind of weird. It, for me, it wasn't look normal, like normal. And. At the end, I remember that it was with, with Banco Agricola. And at the end, I remember that they published in their social medias that uh, if you are receiving these kind of emails, please don't open it because it's a virus and and and, and people are trying, are trying to steal your inform, personal information of your bank account. And please just don't open that, that kind of emails. And yeah, oh, well, 
I, I, that that is a, a case of a cyber attack, I think, because a lot of people lost their inform personal account information. They and, lost their money. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, yeah. I I remember that was before the pandemic, I think. Yeah, and before that, uh, they they constantly are like um. How do you say actualizando? Or they 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 try to improve the 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 the, the yeah the the app constantly to well so that things that doesn't happen again. Mm -hmm. I feel so sorry for them because that caused a big big trouble. Yep. And when I when I receive an email that I don't know who's the sender, I not even open it. I, mm -hmm. I just send it to the trash. Yeah. Okay. Is there a rec a recorder case of cyber crime in your country where the hackers found? No, but I can Google it to search some information. Mm. Cyber crime in El Salvador. Some years ago, hello, girls. Ah, hello. <laughs> hello. Hey, so you were here. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry, sorry. I have to be outside for some minutes because I have some problem here, but everything is fixed. So <laughs> I remember some case, I don't know what the situation, but I remember here in El Salvador, we have a famous hacker. Oh, really? Yes, yes, I remember some years ago. But I don't remember what what he do, but I don't I know if you look the the news, I I think you can found it. Yeah. Okay. And what are some consequences of cyber attack for a business financial company? They cause a lot of losses, right? Yeah. Yeah. Financial losses. They can lose not just money, they lose like the credibility. Uh, yeah, the credibility. But it's and like maybe the clients don't doesn't no, no they don't they don't trust they don't trust in the company in the same way their reputation sometimes is affected too I think we're done then. You guys are finished? Yes, teacher. Yeah, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, I'll go and check the other groups. Okay. You work? Uh, I, I uh, work from Cotecna. Cotecna, but the, the company, uh, they uh, have uh, office in, in many many places many around the many countries uh, around the work hi guys the are you finished or do you need more time no, um, we're finished. yeah That's okay it. wonderful all right i'll see you in the main room in a moment thank you the the the, the hair quit or, or the main the main hi guys are you ready or do you need more time Oh, we're ready to. Perfect. Okay, I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Oh. 
Se cambiaron las notas. In your but, school. But the institution can found the students and, and uh, give a penalty to, to that. Hi, guys. Yes. Just yes. wondering, are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. We are uh, sleeping now and almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, my, 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 my brain was hacked, teacher. Oh, no. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, teacher. Uh, Recover your files. Hi, guys. Are you ready? Um, yeah, teacher. Yeah. Okay. I think we're ready. All yeah. right. I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay, let's see what you guys have here. So, have you ever heard about the term cyber attack? Yes, Kurt. In my case, uh, we have a big sample uh, the last year mm -hmm. when uh, Banco Agricola had one. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, for, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, so good, good. I, okay. Very good. Any other cyber attacks that you've heard of? Yeah, in my case, mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a situation uh, that a, a person uh, received a mail with an attachment. So this mm -hmm. person opened the attachment uh, and at least if you have, for example, in, in one folder, 10 files, at least eight of them was locked, were, were locked. Wow. So uh, the message at the end was, if you want to recover your info, you have to pay in Bitcoins, but it was in 2015, yeah, or mm. 2016, like a five, six or seven years ago. Yeah. The, and, and what, what do we call that? What kind of, what kind of? It, it's ransomware. Yeah, ransomware. Mm -hmm. it ransom your info and yeah. you have to pay something in order to recover your dream. To yeah. recover because it's not, it's not, a, there is no warranty about that. About that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, it could, like, it, it could be damaged. The 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 documents and those files can be damaged. Yeah. Yes. Have you received malicious mail or malicious attachment in your mail? Class, have you ever received malicious yes. mail? Yeah. I received a lot of uh, email, malicious email mm -hmm. in my in my uh, email for work. Oh, your work email. Yeah, but uh, the IT department always are uh, working in uh, world security, security world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To. Okay. Uh, Confrontar, how do you say confrontar? Confront. To confront 
that type of email because in or well in my case I'm working with bank mm. and I will set tokens or sensible information in an email. Mm -hmm. so sensitive. It sensitive, yeah, it's mm -hmm. complex. Mm, okay, okay, very good. All right, is there a recorded case of cybercrime in El Salvador? Any recorded case of cybercrime in El Salvador? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Which one? Uh, a couple of months ago, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to say this, la fiscalia, the prosecutors, no? Prosecutors. Prosecutors captured, if I'm not mistaken, two men and mm -hmm. one woman. And the uh -huh. case was was related to uh, a breach into the Chivo wallet. So oh. if you don't have, uh, if you don't have anything, in your Chivo wallet, but you can, you, you try to um, sacar dinero. To withdraw, withdraw, money. withdraw money. To make a withdraw, mm -hmm. no matter the, the, the amount of this, the Chivo uh, gives you the money in your mm -hmm. bank account. So at the end, the amount of money if I'm not mistaken, it was about eight hundred eight uh -huh, eight hundred thousand thousand dollars or something like this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wow, interesting. Okay. Where so they were found, right? Sorry? They were found then. They the, the hackers yes. were found. Okay. Yes, so. they, but but there were no hackers. Oh, because because they don't enter or they don't breach the system. They oh. just found uh no, they just found they just found a breach. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh huh. Okay, uh -huh. so they didn't create the no, the, the they, breach. Uh -huh. They just found the breach. They just found the breach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got it. Okay, and uh, what are some consequences of cyber attack for a business or financial company? Lose money. Yeah. Lose of information, confidential information. Confidential information. And lose credibility, teacher. Lose credibility, which is a, one of the biggest things, I think, because... Um, Credibility, it goes a long way, right? So you lose credibility, you are going to lose a lot more money than just the initial amount. You're going to lose, you know, money for a long, long time. All right, guys, let's just uh, quickly take attendance. Ana Claudia and uh, David. Mr. Oh. Teacher. Dora. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Fernando Marvin. Present. Eh, Francisco. Francisco. So the teacher, I'm here. Okay. okay. Heidi. Present teacher. Ileana. Present teacher. Harvin. Present teacher. Jose Marcos. Present. Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Eh, Juan Miguel. Juan Miguel. I know what's here. I'm here, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Roberto Luis. Roxana Ivette. Awesome. William Alexander. Eh, Azuleima, Wendy, Present, and Wilfredo. 
Okay, guys. So, so that will be all for today. Um, it's William's turn, but he's not here. So if unless anybody wants to stay, um, if you guys have a question, then um, other than that, well, that's um, that'll be it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Thank you, teacher. Good You're welcome. Thank Take you care, guys. Good night, everybody. Good night.